Hillmore aluminum manifolds come equipped with leak-resistant replaceable valve seats. If you need to replace one, it's no problem at all. While holding the valve handle tight with one hand so that it does not turn, use a T20 Torx wrench to unscrew counterclockwise the screw on the valve handle. Pull the valve handle straight off to remove it from the valve seat assembly. To replace a valve seat, you must first remove the current one by turning it counterclockwise with a small adjustable wrench until it is removed from the manifold bar. Next, place the new valve seat into the manifold and tighten it clockwise by hand until it is hand tight. Make sure you're holding the bolt and not the shaft while doing this. Then take a small adjustable wrench and turn the valve clockwise until the brass seats flush with the manifold. Place the handle back on. Then add a drop of Loctite 243. Insert the screw and tighten with the Torx wrench. There, you've changed a valve seat. Go ahead and repeat this process for any other valve seats you want to replace. Manifolds are the brains of your operation. That's why Hillmore gauges were built to take a few shots to the head. But if you find that one needs replacing, just follow these steps. First, remove the boot and pressure indicator ring. Then take a lighter and heat the Loctite at the bottom of the gauge until the Loctite begins to melt. Once the Loctite begins melting, flip the manifold over so that the back of the gauge is facing you. A couple helpful tips include using the hottest part of the flame to heat the adhesive. This should take approximately 30 seconds. Make sure to heat all sides of the brass stem. Use a small adjustable wrench to turn the gauge counterclockwise until it is removed from the manifold bar. It's important to note that it will take some force to turn the gauge, even while the Loctite is heated. To install the new head, hold the gauge in one hand and place a thin bead of Loctite 554 around the bottom threads on the gauge stem. These are the ones closest to the manifold. Using your hand, twist the gauge onto the manifold bar until it's snug. Make sure not to cross-thread the gauge here. Next, find your small adjustable wrench and turn the gauge 360 degrees just once, making sure the gauge is facing forward and is straight on the manifold. Also, note that Loctite 554 seals instantly to moderate pressures and you'll want to allow 24 hours for it to cure before using the tool. Although we recommend using Loctite 554 for best performance, if it is unavailable to you, Teflon tape can be used as a substitute. Need to remove or change out your manifold hook? No sweat. Simply loosen the nut at the bottom of the manifold hook using a small adjustable wrench. Then insert the new hook and tighten the nut. That's it. Get in, get out, and get on to the next job. It's time to retool and conquer with Hillmore's aluminum manifold. Contact Hillmore Technical Services for additional product information at 1-800-642-0010.